Robotics, Science and Systems, June 26 to the 30th, 2018. The Robotics, Science and Systems Conference has a long history of bringing together researchers in all areas of robotics from around the world for an engaging and focused week of single track presentations, workshops, poster sessions, tutorials, and fun. This year, once again, we solicit your best work. So says the conference website, at least. I attended this event and made this video to convey the vibe of it, as well as some of the substance. It is a single track conference, meaning that there were a bunch of talks in one big room and everyone attending saw the same set of talks. Most of the talks were these short five minute talks summarizing the papers accepted. The slides were recorded as videos and so the speakers had to be very well practiced to not mess up. There were also four keynote talks from noted researchers such as Catherine Kuschenbecker and three early career spotlights for up and coming researchers with impressive work. In between all these talks, there was the usual mingling with free food and coffee, all in this incredible looking Carnegie Music Hall. RSS is a top regarded conference in robotics alongside ICRA and IROS, and was started in 2004 as a bit of a splinter group to, quote, be a smaller conference, a little bit pushing reviewing standards in robotics and trying to highlight kind of the coolest robotic research in every year. It is not so small anymore at 1,000 people, but still considerably smaller than the likes of NIPS or CVPR. The conference also has less industry presence than other top AI conferences like NIPS and CVPR, with companies being sponsors, but not taking up much space. And its single track format ensures a very focused presentation of a small body of work representing a cross section of all of robotics. Walking around the poster session, you see papers on planning, on learning, on optimization, on systems research, and on just about any problem within the field of robotics. You can see the poster for post-CNN just there. This year there was a bit more presence for learning-based approaches. For example, learning task-oriented grasping for tool manipulation, which you can see me presenting alongside Quan Fang right there and many works on reinforcement learning, imitation learning, and deep learning. Oh, and the World Cup happened to be happening at the same time, which meant many took breaks to spectate. But let us not get distracted and keep talking about the conference, and in particular some of the research that was presented. Here's an example, a paper I quite like, Interactive Visual Grounding of Referring Expressions for Human-Robot Interaction. Hi everyone, my name is Mohit and I'm from NUS. My talk is about talking to robots. So in the future, we'll be living with autonomous butlers who will take care of our everyday needs, like cooking and cleaning. So imagine if you could say, hey robot, stack the cups and put them on the shelf. Or, hey robot, make me a fruit salad. Natural language provides a very powerful interface. So there is just a taste of the kind of talks that are there. I would recommend you follow the link on the video and in the description to watch more. In particular, the keynotes and early career highlights were exceptional. All right, so uh, as Wolfram mentioned, I work on robotic learning. And in my group, uh, we're, uh, what we do is we develop new robotic learning algorithms, new algorithms for deep learning and reinforcement learning, and we evaluate those algorithms on real world robotic systems. And in particular, what we're really concerned about is developing algorithms that are highly general, that are very broadly applicable. Because we think that this is critical to make it possible for robots to act intelligently in complex, unstructured environments. So there's just another taste. I will not try to summarize all the substance of the conference, but be sure to watch the talk videos yourselves, read some of the papers, perhaps, and perhaps read the accompanying article that summarizes more of the substance. Now let us finish with the actual end of the conference, with the awards. The best paper award went to Differentiable Physics and Stable Modes for Tool Use and Manipulation Planning. <laughs> so uh, the best paper is for Differential Physical Physics.
Great paper, by the way, well deserved, very impressive. And so after the awards, there naturally came the end, quite ceremoniously. Okay, no, not really, there's still the closing bonkit to show off, and what fun would it be to skip that? Conferences are a great time for researchers to hang out, drink, generally have fun in addition to talking about research. There was definitely some drinking in addition to this bonkit, but perhaps luckily I do not have any footage of that. I do hope you enjoyed this brief look at this event, whether you're an AI researcher or just someone interested in AI and what AI researchers even do in their line of work. Comments, likes, and so on would be appreciated as extra motivation to do more of these things. I don't know if anyone wants these to exist, but I do hope that if you got to this point, you got something out of it.